Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with this really cool T-shirt that you can purchase in the ClassicsToday.com store. Just a hint. No, but a real conundrum for us, us CD collectors. This is a problem that never arises if you do streaming stuff. And I sort of, it's one great argument for streaming. Now, just yesterday, actually, but, you know, if this is the year 8762, it doesn't matter when it was. I talked about the complete Bach um, vocal music edition on BIS. 78 gorgeous CDs with um, Masaki Suzuki and the Bach Collegium Japan, you know, on BIS. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. I mean, absolutely 100% recommendable. I have not a single criticism about it. Really, I don't. However, I was going to talk about this box because every so often as I'm digging around, I come across a box set that I hadn't discussed. And this has been sitting here for some time. And now I really don't need to talk about it, but I'm going to in a different way. It's this. For reasons that, that passeth understanding, um, BIS Records boxed up all of the sacred and secular cantatas in separate boxes at full price. They were quite expensive. But then, um, at a special price, they released this, which is volumes, CDs 41 through 55 of the complete cycle, 15 CDs at a special price, um, containing 53 cantatas, which is lovely. I mean, you know, you've got 53, well, they're, they're somewhat... Um, randomly chosen cantatas. Uh, they're sort of in numerical order, I guess, but but they skip a lot of stuff. I mean, they, there was an organizational principle behind it, but I, I can't be bothered to understand what that was. So here we have this chunk. It's a chunk from the whole, which I had. Now, why did I have it? I had it because, I don't even know where to put it anymore, you know? I had it because... Um, you know, they were releasing these things one disc at a time, and I was started collecting them, and somewhere along the way, I mean, you all think that because I'm a critic, I get free stuff, and I do, I do get free stuff, I, I, get, I get complimentary stuff, but more often than not, um, I don't, because, because one of the things that we really enjoy talking about are box sets and reissues, I mean, that's where all the good performances are. And, and the major labels, particularly other labels, they don't want to give away um, reissued material because actually it's what they're making money on, frankly, but they don't want you to promote it. They want you to promote only new things, um, you know, the more recent stuff, most of which is just surpassingly uninteresting. And so, and so I, I wind up buying it like the rest of you do. So anyway, I was collecting the series and it was going on and on and on and on and on and on. And at some point, I just sort of lost track with it. I lost touch with it. There were other things that interested me more. And so I stopped. And so then um, I really wanted to get caught up, but they were all full price. I didn't want to pay full price for every individual disc. And I saw this rather inexpensive, all things considered, thing. It came out with, you know, 15 CDs um, at the special price containing volumes uh, 41 through 55 of the complete, or CDs 41 through 55 of the complete cycle. And I said to myself, oh, what a wonderful opportunity to sort of help me get caught up and see where we are with it. So I snagged it and was very proud of myself for my 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 snagosity, my virtuoso snaggishness, because you just never know how long these things are going to be in print. You really don't. And BIS, which actually is famous for never deleting anything, actually does delete some things, I hate to say. They don't delete recordings. That is, you can always get everything in the catalog, but they've boxed things up certain ways, certain times, and I think some of those things have come and gone. I mean, that's what I, I mean, Robert Fumbar can yell at me and tell me I'm wrong. But that, that's my impression because I'm just going by what I see on Amazon and, you know, availability and whatnot. So I got this and I enjoyed it very much. It's lovely and terrific. And I had planned, had planned to talk to you about it. And I really was looking forward to doing that because then I could, you know, get caught up in my Bach cantata things. However, excuse me. However, uh -uh, it's over here. This thing showed up. Ha <laughs> ha. This thing showed up just like a few days ago, rendering this object basically irrelevant. 
I mean, this is nicely packaged. You get text and translations and all that, just like you do here. Just like you do here. And, and now I have this, and they're all the same. I mean, I, I, I long ago offloaded the individual discs in this series, most of them, uh, for the, at least for some of these. I kept some of the passions and other things, but the individual cantata issues. Because, I mean, you know, I'm not even a fan of a lot of this music personally. I mean, I like, I like it. It's Bach, I, you know. But how many Bach cantata cycles does one need? You will answer that question. Some of you, can, of course, will say you can't have too many. But how many duplicate performances of the same discs from the same Bach cantata cycle does one need? That is perhaps a better question. And, you know, I say this not to dump on this, which obviously had a reason for doing this, although I don't understand quite what the reason was. It was maybe before they knew that they're going to put everything in one giganto box because this was issued... 2014, I think this says. Yeah, so that was a while ago, 10 years ago, right? But it was still available. Don't ask me why. Anyway, so there we have it. And this is something that we are all stuck with, all of us. And on the one hand, it pleases me because I know that um, even when physical product vanishes forever, it'll all still be circulating because all these various issues at different price points and things will will have you know the remainder will be running around somewhere in the in the in the multiverse um, available on eBay or from independent third party sellers and whatnot. So yeah, that's nice to have. It's nice to know that you'll still be able to find some of this stuff somewhere, but still, you know, you wind up buying the same things over and over and over. And it's kind of annoying. It really is. I, I, I don't blame these people for trying to make money. I really don't. And I certainly don't blame the, the independent labels who are much, much better about this sort of stuff than the major labels are. Because the major labels don't care about anything. You know, they'll box and rebox and debox and unbox and, 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 you know, whatever you can do over and over and over and over. And the right hand doesn't know what the left is doing. Um, but this is just one of those examples of one of the crazinesses that we in the classical music record collecting universe have to put up with. Because, gosh, now I've got 51 CDs in a box. Actually, it looks like this was, I'm looking at it now, this was box five. So so I, I, I gather maybe there was a one, two, three, four that I missed entirely. I mean, I just, I just never saw them. I mean, I'm just out of curiosity. You know, while we're together here, let's take a look at Amazon. Uh, let's see here. Amazon, there it is. Suzuki Bach. We'll do a little search under CDs and vinyl. Um, I know, isn't it exciting watching me do this when you can't see what I'm looking at? Su Suzuki Bach cantatas, right? Yes. Cantatas. And let me just see. Um, th there it is, 53 cantatas, and I don't see Bach cantatas, no, it's volume 5, that was box 5, not volume 5, cantatas 52, what is this? No, that's, that's, I don't see any other boxes, I, none, I, so I have no idea what that was, it could be, it could be, let me see, cantatas 48, Bach cantatas, cantatas, cantatas I'm still looking. I just want to make sure that I'm not getting this all wrong. Well, I could be because there's 14 pages. I'm not going to bore you as I go through 14 pages. But I don't see any other big boxes, whereas this big box is right front and center, you know, with the rest of the Bach cantatas on page one. So, so uh, oh, it has a title, Nun, Nun Danket a la Gott. Okay, well, that's a cheerful one. But there it is. Maybe they were thinking of doing these in a, a series of boxes like this instead of individual CDs, and, and they only did one, and then they stopped. There are a lot of sort of abortive series that come out. Remember when, when Decca, for example, did uh, a Pavarotti edition, and they issued like one box of it, uh, and it was like one of those flat, long album-sized things, and then they just gave it up and issued a giant box of everything Pavarotti did. Well, this is similar to that. Uh, maybe it just didn't make sense to do it the way they were doing it. And so they gave up, got while the getting was good. That's okay, too. It's perfectly fine. I just uh, am now stuck with multiple versions of these. And some of you may have more than that. 
because I'm sure I've got some individual volumes too. When I get to the random reviews from the overflow room, I'm afraid of what I may find. So there you have it then, just a conundrum that I know that I am not alone in expressing here. So keep on listening, and uh, even if it is to the same things on the same label with the same people over and over and over, just keep on listening. We enjoy it anyway. What the hell? Take care.